Alright, so, SP back at you with another, this one will be a little quicker, uh, Tales of the Serp. So, what do we have here? We have the Czech M10M. Now, this piece of technology is kind of interesting. As much as it is, sadly, not a very good gas mask. Now, it has some very good features. But there is a very big fatal flaw that this type of mask has in every type of mask. And I'll list some names off that, are, uh, that, are, that all have this flaw. Basically, what had happened is in the late, I believe, early 60s, late 50s, might have been later than that, the U.S. wanted to develop a lightweight, filterless, quote-unquote, gas mask. And the idea would be you would have a lightweight mask with internal filters, that wouldn't stick out the sides, so they wouldn't interfere with aiming a rifle that much or using equipment, uh, using like radio equipment. And it would use two small cheek filters that were supposed to light way less, they never did, than a regular full-sized 40 millimeter NATO filter. This is in the U.S. And we adopted this mask. It's the M17 and M17A1. Now, in the Warsaw Pact and Soviet Union, they see, I'm sure, photos of this mask and go, holy shit, what a great idea. Let's copy this. Well, basically, they copied it from photographs, essentially. So, while the outsides are nearly identical in the way the masks are set up, the uh, Polish MP4, the uh, Czech OM10, uh, or M10, the uh, Bulgarian, oh God, what is it? PE or PD one. Uh, it's it's a copy of the check. This actually this mask. Uh, and there might be more that I'm missing. Of uh, cheek ah the Soviet PBF uh, that thing, fucking sucks too. It has the same problems. All these masks are cheek filter masks, and the thing with cheek filters is you cannot change them during a uh, in a combat zone per se. You cannot. You're stuck with the filters. I understand it's the same kind of with uh, with 40 millimeter NATO filters as most militaries issue one filter per mask. But if you have to, I believe the cheek filters are more inefficient, so they don't last as long, making it a, even of a worse problem. Uh, the cheek filters are a bitch to get in. I hear the American M17. I need to get one. I don't have one. I have an M9 and I have an M9A1, and I have, of course, the MCUs. Uh, I have an M40. But I don't have a friggin' uh, M17 U.S. gas mask uh, just because I don't think a lot of cheek filter masks. And I got this one just because it was very cheap. I got it for like essentially $8 at a garage sale. And it had the whole kit with it. So uh, it's missing one uh, oral nasal valve, which is unfortunate. But this I would never use this mask for real stuff anyway, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, uh, the quality of this mask is very high. So the, it's not a bad mask in that aspect. The checks really did well. Uh, it's just that this mask could use a 40 millimeter filter. It would be great and ditch the cheek filters. But uh, yeah, it's got a drinking system. Uh, you can see right here, it's got the straw. I don't know if I have it retained properly. I think you're supposed to loop it around this, but it always pops off. So I just have it right there. Uh, it's got a valve system fairly similar to the uh, M17. It says M10M there on the, the valve protector. It's got a voice emitter, just a lot like the U.S. mask. A little different style, though. A little different the way it works. It works more like a Soviet mask, I believe. Uh, the eyepieces are crimped in more of a Soviet-style fashion than they would be if they were on a U.S. mask. You can see the missing valve there. It's got one over there. Uh... But yeah, uh, this mask does have an oral nasal cup, as you can see, so that's an excellent feature. Uh, yeah, really good mask, uh, ruined by the fact it's a cheek filter mask, and I would not recommend wearing these masks with the filters in, or, or the filters probably have asbestos in them. Uh, it's a gamble. I've wore this mask before. I knew about the asbestos thing a lot, because I got this mask like in 2012 or whatever. Uh, I don't have any lung problems, but that don't mean you won't. My filters might have been intact and yours might not have been. Uh, but who knows? So, yeah, I would avoid these for anything but collecting. Although, uh, 
certainly better than nothing if it's all you fucking had and there's an end of the world scenario definitely yeah wear it it might keep give you a couple of hours to get out of where you're at or whatever but yeah the uh yeah this is the check m10 and this is sp signing off